to another vlog. It is Wednesday, January 13th, and it's 8.30 right now. I just drove from Boston to Cape Cod, and I'm here to just like explore and have myself a day. I'm first gonna go to Nirvana Coffee Company to get chai tea, and then I know of this place called Joe Mama's Bagels, where I might get a bagel, and then I have a couple beaches I wanna hit. I wanna go to West Dennis Beach, as well as maybe the Wellfleet Beachcomber. I think that's like kind of far away, but my end goal for the day is to go to Provincetown because I've never been, and if you know Cape Cod, it's like the very end of the boot when you look at it. And apparently like it's a really, really cool place, so hopefully I can get there at some point today, but I really wanna stay long enough to see the sunset. I don't think it's till like 4.30 or 4.45, so I definitely have some time to kill, but yeah, I'm really excited to be here. I just figured that I go back to school in a week and a half and once the spring semester starts, I only have classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I am still looking for a part-time job and I just feel like I'll be busy with like my literature review, which is like my end of semester project. So figure why not do it now because it's a free day and it's really pretty out. It's like blue skies, kind of cold, but that's what I get for coming to Cape Cod in the winter. So yeah, off to get chai tea and I brought a blanket so I can lay on the beach and read my book. Such good things. I got a chai tea latte, a medium, because I need the caffeine. I've been up since 5.30. And I also got an old fashioned donut, which they just looked really good. And one of my favorite YouTubers, Gretchen Garrity, she would come to Nirvana Coffee Company all the time and she would always rave about these donuts. So I'll have to let you guys know how it is. But downtown Barnstable is like so cute. It's just like this quaint little strip of like shops and it's really convenient because I'm right next to a post office and I have a letter to send out so I'll definitely do that later but I might drive to a beach and just like sit eat my donut drink my chai tea and then yeah maybe read my book but I also have my rollerblades with me so I'm like if I can find like a flat area on the beach with like a good cement pathway I would totally go rollerblading have a first impression of the donut yeah that's really good oh it's actually so good. Holy crap. I think this is the first donut of the new year for me. Nirvana Coffee Company, people. So I got myself to West Dennis Beach and I'm sitting in the sand eating my donut wrapped up in my blanket. But this couple is about to walk by and they have like a gaggle of dogs, like five or six of them. And they're all really cute. And I wonder if I can film them without seeming creepy. Oh, they're so cute. My God, it's literally like a pack. <laughs> Morning. Morning. <laughs> That couple was so nice and all of those dogs were so well trained. Like two of them started to walk towards me and they called them and they went right back to them. And I'm like, is that not like dream retirement life? Just like adopting a pack of dogs, walking down the beach each morning, throwing the ball for them. Like, oh, so cute. But isn't it so pretty, all this like grass behind me? I'm literally sitting like in a non sandy area, but the water is so pretty. The sun is like directly in my eyes, as you guys can probably tell. Like I said, I brought a book to read. I brought a letter to write. The book I'm reading is still the I Would Leave Me If I Could book by Halsey. It's poems. And then my friend Yvette, she wrote me a letter, so I'm writing her back. But yeah, I think I might just cozy up here for a while. It's like really early. And whenever I get to the Cape, I'm always like, ah, oh, can I kill enough time to make it till the sunset? And we'll see if that's possible because the parking lot behind me, like the gravel, the road is too rough for me to rollerblade on it. Like I just know I'd trip a bunch. So I'll have to probably go somewhere else if I wanna go rollerblading, but it's already 10 a.m. So 
doing pretty good and yeah i'm just so happy to be here i'm like oh someone asked me recently if i was a mountain or a beach girl and i'm like i wish i could say both because i do honestly miss the mountains like what was cool about colorado is you could see them off in the distance and you could always tell which direction was north and south based on where you stood in proximity to like the mountains whereas something about being on the beach just whenever i get here i'm like oh i'm so happy like it's so pretty and it just like makes me feel super relaxed and like joyful i don't know so i feel like i'm probably more of a beach girl having grown up like in seattle near the Puget Sound, but yeah, I'll be here. Later, I finished reading Halsey's book on the beach. Now I'm in Orleans, Cape Cod, and I got two Joe Mama's bagels. It's really cute. I got a jalapeno, or no, I got a cinnamon raisin bagel with cream cheese on it. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm probably just gonna eat it in my car because I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna go next. I'm like headed towards Provincetown. I'm driving like the furthest out yet. So I'll probably eat this and then like get over there. And hopefully when I park, I can like do some walking around. Imagine there's like a downtown area where you can like walk and there's shops. I don't expect a lot of it to be open, but that's my hope because I've heard so many good things about Provincetown. I'm like excited to get there. So fingers crossed. For anyone that was wondering, this bagel fucking slaps. They put way too much cream cheese on it for my liking. So I'm smearing a lot of it off, but Joe Mama's Bagels held up to its name. I learned about this place from Maggie McDonald, another Boston YouTuber, and then Nirvana Coffee I knew about from Gretchen, so yeah. <laughs> Provincetown. I found this cute little beach. It's really cold um, and I'm just getting out of my car to like go for a walk. I don't think I'm gonna make it till sunset. I'm like pretty tired and I feel like I could just kind of like head out because it's like a solid two and a half hour drive to get back to my house in Boston but yeah it's so pretty here and I didn't get a chance to drive through downtown yet so definitely gonna do that but yeah I need to go fill up on gas and then probably head out because that bagel was really filling and I don't really feel like I need to get a burrito or like any kind of lunch I'm like I'm good so I just got a matcha latte at this cafe called the wired puppy that my friend Tira suggested because her and her family vacation in Provincetown like all the time. So thanks Tira because I'm headed home and I need some caffeine because I'm very tired. And yeah, I feel like Provincetown is definitely very quiet because it's the off season, it's winter. It's really cold out so like nobody's here, but it is very pretty and I could see how this would be a super fun place to like vacation or just like visit in the summer when you can go swimming and stuff like that. So yeah. I'm just getting gas and I'm having my matcha latte. I've only ever had one before that my friend Sasha made me and I can see why they really aren't good unless you like really sweeten it up with like heavy whipping cream or like really fatty milk because this tastes like aquarium water. I'm not complaining because I'm pretty sure matcha is good for you. But anyway, that will conclude today's vlog. I hope you guys liked it and maybe it will serve as helpful to you if you ever visit the Cape. Um, not so much Provincetown because I didn't really do anything here and I don't know much about the area, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Literally though, I just remembered if you made it to the end of the video, people on the Cape drive like assholes. Like literally it's a two lane highway and they shoot past you. Like the speed limit's like 60. I'm like literally going 75 and they're like, you're not going 90. And I'm like, bitch, you were like 30 miles over the speed limit. I do not understand why people are in such a hurry. Like I literally don't get it. Someone please explain.